let's go. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Asian Nature. For those of you who are new, or if you may have forgot, um, and today we are going to talk about something that is really super important to me in my life um, as a yoga teacher and a yoga student, and that is meditation. Um, and throughout this video, you'll kind of hear me probably use meditation and mindfulness interchangeably. And in this case, whenever I do use mindfulness, um, I am referring to meditation. And I think for a lot of people, meditation can be something that's really intimidating. You feel like there's so much that like goes into it. You kind of don't know where to start. Um, so I kind of came up with these, the three P's, the three P's of mindfulness. And while these three things aren't gonna teach you how to meditate, they can kind of help you um, hone in on your meditation and kind of give you something to think about or set your awareness or your intention on while you meditate. So that way, um, while you're sitting there in silence, maybe you don't get as intimidated. So if you would like to hear what those three things are, then just keep on watching. So the first one is purpose. What is it that brings you to meditate that day? And before you go into it, just think about that question and know that it can change every day and it's perfectly normal. It almost should change every day. Um, it helps you to kind of really come into where you're at in that very moment instead of focusing on where you think you should be or where you have been. So having a purpose kind of brings you into the space of the now, the present, the only thing that truly exists because the future hasn't came yet, the past is already done. Which kind of brings me into the next P, which is presence. Out of all three of the P's of mindfulness, I would say that presence is probably one of the most important. Um, just because if you aren't present, you're not, if you're not, with your breath or you're not with that mantra or whatever that you or whatever style of meditation that you choose then you're really just kind of like sitting there in silence and while having that silence can be beneficial it's even more beneficial to do it with a fixed awareness so whenever you're present you're able to give your thinking mind a rest um, that mind that that jitter that kind of comes to us all whether it be stress or excitement or sadness, just letting go of the emotions of our day-to-day -day life and just tuning into where you are. And whenever you're able to do that, you can kind of let that thinking mind go, that um, almost irrational mind, and then come into a more intuitive space. Um, you can think of like your intuition as like that quiet, that quiet confidence that we all have, we all experience it at some point. And whenever you're able to be present and be mindful with your meditation, it's almost like a muscle that you exercise. The more you do it, the more you'll be able to come into that space more frequently. But what we really want is to be able to carry that into our day-to-day -day lives um, rather than just that set five minutes. What can you do to bring that mindfulness into all 24 hours of your day? All right, so the last P is perspective. So with perspective, it is basically how you see things. So perspective is super, super key to not only meditation, but life in general. Okay, so often when it comes to perspective, especially whenever we get really tense or really stressed or overwhelmed, it's the focus of our perspective is a lot on ourselves, the I or the ego. Um, and whenever we meditate, it kind of is your reminder to bring yourself into a fuller space. Um, like especially whenever it comes to things that are stressing us out we tend to think about how we have to solve these problems all on our own and things like that but whenever you're able to shift your perspective and know that this world everything that we are experiencing is shared it helps you to expand your mind and give you a little bit more space a little bit more move room a little bit more freedom in the mind and usually it helps you to rationalize those thoughts out a little bit. So yeah, those are the three P's of mindfulness. Something super quick that um, I just felt like I would share so that way you guys can bring that with you if you're maybe new to meditation or maybe you feel stuck. 
Um, I think it's always cool to like hear other people's perspectives with meditation because it's something that we do by ourselves, but um, being able to kind of come together and talk about it uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, and like I said, this video isn't about teaching you how to meditate, but if that is something that you're interested in, then let me know. I will definitely make another video about that because uh, like I said in the beginning, meditation is something that is really, really important to my life, both as like a yogi and just as a person as a whole. And I want to bring mindfulness to more people. And if this, if you guys feel that this helps, then let me know. Um, that would be great. Also, if you want to hear more about like my journey with meditation, how I got started, why I meditate, I actually have a blog post up on my website, which is asiannature.com. Um, and you can read that there. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you can leave a comment down below, or you can find me on social media. Um, I'm Asian Nature Everywhere, keep it easy, so that way you can find me. Spelled just the same. So that's all for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next one.